Good morning. Man, it feels good to be working on my own truck again. Oh, you guys are in for a surprise today. You're going to have to stay till the end. Or at least later on in the video to see what I'm talking about. Right now, <clears throat> most of you are going to say I'm absolutely out of my mind. The heck's the tire doing up on the workbench? Hmm. Interesting. We're gonna do something here. We don't need this. All right. Whew. Hmm. What the heck is going on here? Anybody got a clue? If you think you know what's going on, stop the video and leave me a comment. I'm just going to let you stare at that for a minute. Never done this before. It's going to be a first for me. But the name of the truck is Blown Budget, which means I'm out of money. I looked several different places and uh, yeah, I am not going to spend $500 a wheel. So, I'm going to make one. All right. Let's see what we can do here. It's turned up all the way. I don't know if the plasma's going to work or not. Let's start over here so the arrow can come out over here. There we go. See if I'm going to be able to pop this off the rim here. Not that way, but I got a plan. That sucks, I've only got three more to do.
here and uh, all right, right there so there is seven inches all the way out here this five and a half I can't go clear out here I have to stay in there. So let's set this at five and a half over here. That would give me 11 and three quarters. That's not big enough. Mm. That's not good. Not good at all. Um, you see, that's going to give me, that'll put that right in the center, of the, well, offset, but in the middle of the wheel. <clears throat> it could work. I think I need to cut the wheel a little bit different. I think that wheel's a jump. Okay. Alright. Alright, well sometimes you gotta regroup and think outside the box. Have a lathe, no problem. A turning wheels. So far, the hardest part is getting them stupid tires off that's been on there for 30 years without a tire changer. All right, I got that all cleaned up. I have exactly 14 and 15 sixteenths. I cut the other rim a little bit differently and I've got exactly 14 and 15 sixteenths. So, what my plans are, I'm gonna bolt that wheel on. This bolt pattern's wrong. It's not even close. 
it's Corvette junk. Uh, I'm going to bolt that wheel on there. I'm going to tack lip to lip and I'm going to take the hard wheel and I'm going to turn this on my lathe get it cleaned up and ready to weld onto here. Now, if I take this and set it on there like that, I didn't even measure it, but let's see. Right there, I have 12 and three quarters. I can live with that. I can live with that. The hardest part when I go to mount my tire is going to be getting it over this lip, but I can lube it up, get it over it, and then it should go right into place. All right. Whew. Man, how long have I been here now? Um, I've been here about two, two and a half hours. I've located four wheels, actually six wheels. Since I messed one up, I'm going to go back and get one more of those out back. I don't know. Let's see how long it takes me. It's still cheaper than five, six hundred dollars plus shipping to get it here. So. side guys look at that okay it's centered up 
there. Man, that feels good. All right, let's make sure it's still true. We have 13 three quarters, 13 three quarters. In theory, this should work. As long as I can get it exactly square, it should be good. Well guys, I just get my mind together here and uh, I almost, I didn't do it, but I almost messed up. I have to get that out of there first because I won't be able to get to it. Oh, dang it. All right, I gotta get that center hub out, spun around. And get the right distance here. Okay. So, that's gonna be fun. I'm going to wear some sparks. Okay. Now, the way they put these in here is they press them in and then they weld across this flange right here. My thoughts, if I just grind that weld off there, I can push it out, spin it around, put that weld right at the edge of this, that's gonna give me about three inch offset. If my mathematician's right. So, I'm gonna make some sparks.
Not too shabby. Looking good. All right. Now to get the other part tacked on there. I will put it on the truck and weld it. So that'll be good. Well guys, what do you say? Am I stupid? It's got just an ever so slight of a wobble to it. I don't know. It's not hateful, but it is there. Ah, uh, dang it. Man. It looks cool though. Looking at it though. I don't know if it's got a wobble or if it's just the different rust spots on here. Because I'm watching that crack in the floor on the inside. And it's real close. I think I'm going to use it at least for a roller. Now I've got to do one more. I know, you're wondering what I need that big of a rim for anyhow. Well, let me just show you here. Yeah. I picked up a couple of tires yesterday. They are some big tires. Oh man, I'm gonna have to lift the truck up to get them out. All right. All right, I got them out of here. They are 33, 21, 50, 15 Mickey Thompson Sportsman's. Yeah, oh, man. Great.
I want to bolt it on, make sure my offset's right before I start the next one. fits in that wheel opening absolutely perfect just inside of the wheel lid oh yeah that looks good of course there ain't no carrier in the center so it's kind of it'll set funny until I get a carrier put in but that's what I need right there Wow. That's awesome. Offset is perfect. I could have moved it out just a hair, but hey, I think it looks good right there. All right. Who wants to come in and do the other wheel? Man, that was a struggle, guys. I've been in here four hours on that one wheel. Wow.
This is where I really feel like an idiot. I put the rim in the tire backwards the hard way. I realized it right about now. Turned it around and it went in just fine. one getting that rim on that tire oh my goodness that about whooped me I like it they set just about perfect the main reason why I did this right here is so I could get something to go off of and get it on rollers I need to be able to take my factory inner fenders because they're only that wide. I need to take my factory inner fenders and widen them enough to fit these big old meats. Oh my goodness. I will buy rims, but I don't have the cash for them right now and I needed to get this done so I can continue on my truck. <clears throat> These are good for rollers. Now, how I fixed that rear end so they'd stay straight, I took some paint sticks and set underneath of the axles. That works out good. I like it. Man, if I had the machinery, if I had a big lathe, I could have done these so much easier. Oh, and a tire changer. Oh man, if I didn't, if I have thought about it, I would have uh, taken all four of them wheels into my uncle and had him pop the tires off the rims for me. But. I honestly planned on coming in here this morning and getting measurements so I could order it. Well, I got online and started looking and yeah, the offsets and the width of the rim is going to be a custom made wheel. I'm not set for that just yet. And see, actually I could move them wheels and tires out yeah, about an inch. Right now, I have two and three eighths offset, which is two and three eighths backspace, I should say. If I went with, say, a one and three eighths back, then that would move the tire out one inch. But I'm going to build the inner fenders to this width in case I decide down the road or whoever buys this truck decides down the road they want to put a 24 inch wheel entire package under it these are 21 and a half 33 tall yeah I think it'll work yeah, I was planning on just getting measurements and seeing what I could find on the wheels. But I sat down this morning and seen that and I'm like, no, not, not happening right now. I was planning 
I'm doing all this stuff. Start getting all it ready. That way I could latch the doors where they need to be and start body working. I'd have never dreamed it would have took that long to do this. But that's part of hot riding. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know how big an idiot I am. Uh, even though I already know. I wanted to see what it looked like without the gas tank in there. Oh yeah. That looks good. See, now the gas tank's going to go up there. I've got an idea for that. And that's probably not going to be the gas tank being used. I've got a pretty neat idea for that. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Go get me something to eat. Now, I had to get this thing sitting back on the ground. No. with the tires and honestly even though they're 33 inch tall tires it sets about perfect now, I've got the big block in it I've got the transmission in it it's not going to go down hardly anymore it makes me feel like it's a a 60s hot rod just a slight rake big fat meats love it